Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Gina Morrison. This is Hannah and Shelby, and we're here in Green River, Utah today. Hi, I'm Kevin Mortensen. I'm here with Bud Bruning from UTV Utah, and you've got some guests with us today, too. I have. I've got my nephew, Jax, with me today, and my youngest son, Trey, hiding back here, and my oldest son, Dirks, and uh, it's a family affair, and we're looking to have some fun. These kids look like they're ready to go, but first, we wanted to talk a little about what we're doing today. We're here with UTV Utah, kind of an unofficial, unsanctioned event, but we're, we're guests of the First Choice Inn all the other great hotels and motels here in Green River and the town of Green River. They've really worked closely with the group to make this happen. They have. They've been phenomenal. First Choice Inns, all the hotels in town and the city of Green River themselves have been awesome. They've like rolled out the red carpet and, and welcomed us with open arms. We're, we're excited to come down here and play in their backyard. You know, just kind of being in town today, they're really glad we're, that we're here. Yes, I, I know law enforcement stopped a few people just to find out where they're from. They're not harassing them or anything, but it's like, hey, we're happy to see you guys come enjoy our town and go ride the trails. Yeah, you guys really are great. Listen, have you ever ridden here before? I never have. I'm, I'm really excited. I've never been here before. This is my first time. I'm actually a just a participant today. We've got some experts that are guiding us, so I'm, I'm excited to just go have some fun. And we're excited just to kind of tag along. Let's go load up and head out to the trail. We're going to send you guys off to talk to UTV Utah about what it takes to put this on and why are they doing it. Probably the best thing that I've seen in the, what UTV Utah has created is an opportunity for people to not be traveling in the outdoors alone and actually exploring new territory. Otherwise, they wouldn't have that opportunity to do. I mean, that's why UTV came to be, and that's one of my favorite parts about it, is meeting new people, exploring new areas. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. So as an organization, we are out here just exploring trails. Uh, the average person rides between two and three places a year, and they get really comfortable in that area, and they don't ever go anywhere else. And so part of the organization's group, part of our Part of our process and our job is to get people out of their comfort zone. Come to a new area, learn a new area. Let's expand that from two to three trails to eight or nine or 10 trails so that we can disperse everybody. You can really learn what Utah has to offer. And this is a place I've never been before. So I'm really excited to, to come out here. And I've got a lot of family that couldn't make it today. And my goal today is to learn the area so we can come back out and, and come out here and explore it. So that's what we want to pass on to our members is come out here, learn the area, run around with about you know, today I think we've got almost 40 or 50 machines. Come enjoy it with us and then bring your friends and family back out here and enjoy it. Well, met a lot of new people. I got to go down to Sand Hollow. That was that was a good time. And now I get to come here, so I'm looking forward to a lot more fun trips. Wow, it's incredible what it takes to put on one of these events and the hours that they have put into this Man, is incredible. They have put a lot of work into it. As you can tell, there's been a lot of uh, behind the scenes that you just don't see, but it looks like the group's starting to catch up to us and we're going to get yeah, ready to head out of here. Yeah, there's so many people here and this is so exciting. So. I know they want to showcase this area off. We're going to send you guys off to this week's Where To and we're going to go ride. Let's go. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. As you can see up on the hill, we've got the kids playing around. We've got people taking pictures. There's petroglyphs up there. And look what we found. <laughs> a, a relic of hippie days. I think it's adorable. <laughs> Somebody actually used to live there. As you can see, that trailer's falling down. We've made our way down along the Green River from the town of Green River. And, we're, and look, we got a, a visitor here. <laughs> you guys are having a great ride today. We are. It's winter time, so... There's not a lot of foliage, so you actually can see the river as you're driving by it. And it's been a little bit muddy, but we had rain yesterday, but today it's been absolutely perfect. Not too hot, not too cold, just a little bit of hot cocoa in the... You know, we're kind of following <laughs> 50 of our newest friends. They're close, friendly, happy, and helpful. <laughs> These guys are great, and they've been really fun to, to be on the trail with. We've come along literally the banks of the Green River, and, and there's been some pretty amazing vistas. We've actually stopped and taken a couple of photos with the kids, so it's been fun. Um, it hasn't been too bumpy, so if you're um, new, this isn't too technical. You will enjoy this trail for sure. Well, let's go find out from the guys that organized this event why they picked this trail. It's just kind of a local favorite. Uh, there's a lot of the locals that we like to ride it, tie it into a, to a loop that we're able to just ride right from town and, and see some of the country that we like to see. There's a little bit of a variety to the trail. It's, it's not too difficult, but 
you're getting off the, the main graded road as well. You know, the, the, the nice thing about this is, is this area, you know, most years you can ride this year round. This is an area when you can't get to the mountains, if you're not really wanting to get into the serious rock crawling or, or technical stuff, it gives you an option to come out, enjoy family, friends, enjoy the outdoors in, in conditions that a lot of times are favorable here. Because our mountains are under two, three, four foot of snow right now. But it's, it's why, why we live in Green River. It's just the availability of, of the lands to enjoy. You know, I mean, not everybody, a vast majority of these people here today have had the trailer to get here, and it's something that we do out of our out of our garage, out of our backyard, and we don't have to trailer. It's great to meet some people from the, the off-road community and, and show them what we have here in our backyard. Okay, so those guys are way cool, and it really does take a lot of work to put this on. It really, really does, and I feel like I'm gonna get blown away here, but the breezy. views actually blow you away while you're out here. It's gorgeous. You know, I've never ridden up here before. I've ridden around it and been close, but to see the different types of terrain that exist up here, it's, it's some place you can come and get all of it in one spot. It's a really neat thing. You need to put it on your itinerary and come out here and see what's going on. These trails are amazing. Right now, we're gonna send you guys off to this week's Along the Way, sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV. All right, now welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're just finishing a great ride today. Have, go, have fun, Tyson. Yeah, it was a muddy mess out there, a lot of fun. I'm here with Tyson Curtis from Jorgensen's, and we're, we're standing in front of one of Jorgensen's new machines. This is the Maverick Sport XRC. The RC is for rock crawling edition. If you love spending time out on the trails and on the rocks, Can-Am engineers did all the work for you. You can take this on the mountain. It has trail mode and rock mode. 15 inches clearance, comes stock with 30 inch tires. This looks like a great machine. We followed this thing and along the trail and it was effortless. It did, it did everything. It wasn't ever trying. <laughs> this, was a, this was fun to watch. You know, if you, have, if you want to get into the sport, but you don't want to spend a ton of money to build your machine, you want it already done, this is a great one to go get. We also had one of your used machines out there, a pre-owned machine that my wife and I were in. Tell us about your used inventory. Our dealership has a large used inventory. Anything you're looking for, pretty good chance we'll have what you're after. Well, that's kind of what surprised me when I went in there the other day. It was just rows and rows and rows of, of used yep. machines, and they were all in pretty good shape. The one we had out today did the, the trail perfectly. Oh, yeah. We'll make sure it's taken care of and ready for you on the road. So, look, we're going to send you guys off to check out this week's sticker winner, and we're going to go find something to eat. But if you're interested in one of these machines, go see our friends at Jorgensen's. This week's contest winner was spotted out on the trail in his license plate number OBOYJ, and it looks like they're the lucky winner of a Clearly Tough windshield. Clearly Tough offers the strongest windshields on the market. Visit clearlytough.com for more details. And it looks like they're going to win a bonus $100 gas and gift card from the folks at Eagles Landing, which is the best place to get that real gasoline, Clear 91. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now let's look at our calendar of events. With the current ban on group events, many things are being canceled, but you can still get out with your family to explore. The Easter Jeep Safari has been canceled and no non-resident lodging is currently allowed in Moab. All state parks in Carbon, Emory, and Grand Counties have closed all campgrounds and visitor centers by order of the health department. However, the parks themselves will remain open for daily visitation, so if you can't make a day trip out of your adventure, you must plan to lodge outside of those counties. Remember, if you're going to go adventure, do your part and practice safe social distancing. Pack extra water and soap or hand sanitizer and pack Clorox wipes and wipe down surfaces before and after you touch them. This is a great time to enjoy the outdoors as long as we're doing it safely. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Chad and Rhea are visiting a one-of-a-kind event as they witness cattle dogs racing against the competition to move cattle through an obstacle course. Then, our friends from Polaris Can-Am World Mosquito are taking us out for their second annual off-road extravaganza, which features a great ride and great people. So be sure not to miss next week's show. Well, next week's show looks great. And so does this food. We're here at the Tamarisk Restaurant in Green River, Utah. And the food is amazing. We worked up quite an appetite on the travel days. The kids are ready to eat. We've decided to make the weekend out of it. We're spending some time here in Green River. If you ever get here, make sure you put this place on your list also. It's kind of like a little oasis right here in the middle of town. We're right on the Green River. We've got great views. It's a clean, modern, new restaurant. 
with great looking food, the menu looks fantastic. It absolutely looks fabulous and it smells great too. So I'm excited to try some. Unfortunately, we're out of time for this show. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you are able to get down here sometime and see these trails and see this country. But we want to remind you from our family to yours that there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At, at your, your leisure. leisure.